Hi, my name is Tina, and recently something incredible and insane happened at our school. Like, it was seriously mental. There was even a trial, and at the end of it all, a teacher got fired. Everything happened because, uh, <laughs> she exposed herself during gym. Like, seriously, fully nude. The boys managed to film it all, and they were selling the video to anyone who wanted it, which, honestly, I think is just disgusting. No one had consent in this situation. But anyway, if you can for a moment, just imagine your teacher, any of your teachers, getting exposed right in front of everyone. Oh, disturbing, right? I get weirded out just imagining running into a teacher at the beach during summer break. But not everything is as it seems. I happen to know the truth, but I'm choosing to remain silent. I think, though, it's best if I start from the beginning. Our school is co-ed, even for gym class. We have different gendered bathrooms and lockers, but that's about it. All of us have classes together. We have different electives and courses that we do throughout the year. In gym, we do football, swimming, track and field, you know, usual stuff. We get a taste of it all that way. However, our school is a bit unique than probably yours. Nearly all of us are trained athletes aiming for the Olympics. Anyway, those of us who are in specific sports had a petition to be able to practice during P.E. instead of doing random exercises, but the principal refused. He said our school is following standard procedure, and those who require more training are welcome to find clubs and classes in our city to develop their skills further. It put those of us who live farther away in a bit of a bind. I mean, we came to the school for a reason, after all. You can take me as an example. I'm a swimmer, and I have to run to my swimming classes right after school, and then I don't get to go home until well after the sun has gone down. And it's, you know, totally fine when my parents can take me home, but when they can't, I'm always afraid that something bad will happen to me on my way back home. A lot of my classmates have similar fears, not to mention the fact that there's specified training and restrictions for every sport. Some of the dudes at school are even going to be professionally drafted in football. They do all of their own exercises and have to be really careful that they don't injure themselves. There's this one guy who's a bodybuilder, and he's super serious about it. He's afraid to even pick up chairs so that he doesn't overwork his muscles. Basically, combined, non-specific PE classes is a waste of time for us since nearly every student that goes to the school is aiming to be a pro athlete, but no one listens to us. Nobody. That's why we had a lot of conflicts with our gym teacher, Miss Penelope McCarthy. She made a curriculum and refused to credit us without, like, actual physical paper tests. She could also be quite condescending to girls, but also demanded a lot from boys. We tried to explain everything to her boss, the principal. We showed the coach's plans. Some of our parents even had a conversation with her in the principal's office. But it was all in vain. She talked about standards and other schools' rankings, and she kept repeating that school and out-of-school activities are different things. If you want to have good grades at school, you should correspond to school values. That was her argument. Some of us sacrificed our grades because we had no other choice. Just imagine a poor, hapless student who studies as hard as they can, and right in between all their A's and B's is this miserable F for gym class. That can ruin one's GPA for the rest of the year. And that was enough to get my blood boiling. Maybe her sports dreams were crushed long ago and now takes it out on us. I don't know. But once there was a guy in another class who got hurt because of her. They were doing track and field high jumps, and this kid was a dancer. His private coach gave him a note telling Miss McCarthy to not let him jump. She ignored it and said that it, since it's not from a doctor, it doesn't count, and made him jump anyway. And wouldn't you know it, he broke his leg. His whole future could possibly be ruined because of one stupid class. Owing to the teacher's requirements, we often got hurt. And we also got low grades because of her. So it wasn't a surprise that her students hated her. It wasn't a surprise either when they decided to get revenge. Several reckless guys sneaked into the teacher's dressing room. They have separate dressing rooms and students for obvious reasons. And I don't know what exactly they did, but the results were immediate and widespread. During the next period, Miss McCarthy was leading a gymnastics warm-up. She bent down and tried to make a bridge pose, and her clothing just fell off. Like, all of it, just torn apart. And apparently, Miss McCarthy finds undergarments restrictive. All the students, even the ones who planned it, were momentarily stunned. They filmed the moment, and now even Miss McCarthy was running to the dressing room, desperately trying to cover herself. 
That evening, everyone knew about the incident. Literally, the whole city was talking about it. And an investigation began. The school administration tried to figure out what happened and how their teacher managed to embarrass herself so drastically. And the guys who plotted it all started to tell, well, outright lies. They said that Miss McCarthy was bothering them for a long time now, like she was asking them to visit her in the dressing room and, you know, things like that. Then Miss McCarthy suddenly got naked during class. Maybe she hoped that someone would finally give her the attention that she wanted. It wasn't true, of course. We all knew what was happening in reality, but we remained silent. Most of us, anyway. A few backed the guys up. I was threatened that if I say too much, they would catch me after class and do something bad to me. I already wasn't fond of Miss McCarthy, so I didn't really have an intention of ratting them out, but... They were also so much bigger than me. I was terrified of them in that moment when they threatened me. After all was said and done, Miss McCarthy got fired. Authorities revoked her rights to work with children, and her reputation is so bad right now that she won't even be able to get a job at, like, a local gym. At the moment, she's actively trying to prove her innocence, but, but my mother said what is best for Miss McCarthy is to leave our city and start from the very beginning somewhere else. Do I feel pity for her? I don't know. Probably? She ruined so many lives because she was so stubborn, but what those boys did was nothing less than sexual harassment. It was vile and disgusting. I do have to admit that I'm glad she's gone. I just wished it happened in a different way. You should never touch or film somebody without their consent. And I think maybe that's more important to me than even swimming. My name is Penelope, and my life resembles a nightmare recently. And I can't wake up. I still can't understand why these kids did that to me and why no one tried to protect my reputation. My work was my whole life. I like sports, and I didn't like lazy bones goofing off all the time. All the time I spent coaching and making training plans for the harmonious development of the children. Alongside... I had gymnastics classes with some of the girls. Certainly, I didn't demand a lot from them during common school classes. I saw them training a lot, and I knew their limits. And the rest of the children? To be honest, it seemed as though they were making things up to skip gym class. Why should I withdraw a huge 16-year-old guy from a gym class? What? He is following his own training plan with his couch, isn't he? It's hard to believe because he doesn't do anything during my classes. He isn't even trying to do the simplest exercises. And these notes don't prove anything. One can write a million of such notes. Besides, all of these out-of-school activities are called so because they are all out of it, and they shouldn't interfere with school education. Why do some dance classes or football bother with gym classes? Children don't come with these notes to chemistry or math teachers, right? Why are their classes better than mine? Of course, I demanded to pass all my tests, and I didn't give any slack, except for my girls. They gave good results with simple exercises. At the beginning of my career here, the previous gym teacher told me that those kids were terrible and mean. I thought he was the reason for that. Maybe he was an awful person who wasn't able to find a common language with children. Now I know he was 100% right. Children. Kids are terrible. It was an awful humiliation to stand fully naked in front of all of those teenagers filming the whole accident. And I couldn't understand how it happened. How could a new gym suit just fall apart? Those little monsters were sending that video to everyone in our city while I was sitting in the dressing room and crying. I should have taken their phones away at once, although I was fully naked. As a result, I was blamed for indecent behavior. I tried to prove the opposite, saying that I was framed and that it was the children who did something to my clothes and that I'm not interested in all those pimply teens. But, just like in all the similar cases, the school administration believed those little monsters. I was suspended from classes, and then they forbade me to work with children at all. I tried to appeal to the courts. I walked there as often as I could. I tried to find the witnesses. But all the kids remained silent. Even my own pupils kept saying that it was my fault and I got naked in front of them on purpose. 
That hurt me the most. I gave those kids so much, and I got nothing in return. They just pretended that we don't know each other, like they only saw me several times and that's it. They looked away as if they were disgusted even by looking at me. Now I'm preparing to move to another state. I have no other choice than to move as far as I can. I don't know what I'll be doing there because I'm not allowed to work with children anymore, but I'm strong enough to figure things out. I hope those kids would have what they deserve for everything they've done to me. Write in the comments your opinion on this story and the characters. Like the video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next ones. Tell us your opinion in the comments. Leave likes, share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.